whoa, 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 what the fuck is up? How we doing, how we feeling, how we looking. Playing Persona 5 Royal again, somehow. Um, it's been a while. It's been a little bit since we played P5. I'm hoping to get back into it a little bit more consistently. We'll see what happens. Um, where are we at? We're in... What is it? June? <laughs> July? It's July. July 17th. Oh shit. Uh, we have yet to start Futaba's Palace. How do I sound? How do we sound? I think we're about to start it. Maybe not about to, but like days. Um, Y'all can't see what the objective is, but it says prove your justice to society and observe the case's progress and celebrate your success. Actually not sure what is about to happen. Um, oh, the celebratory festival photo. Oh, I guess we were at the summer festival recently. Was that today? That's probably today. Is it certainly evocative. Well, don't don't let it get to to you. Shit happens. Can't read. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. Give me some voice acting, please. Sounds like it would uh, increase my and like my relationship with On, um, which is fucking unfortunate because I remember last time. Oh, <laughs> I remember last time one of the things I did before wrapping up was I spent the night and hung out with her because I needed she. I know that she needed like a little bit of time before next time, like her confidant ranked up. But this would have just done that, so I would have saved time. So I definitely can't do that. <laughs> Unless I want to increase charm. I, I mean, if there's no, if there's nothing else I can do, let's see what else we can do. Uh, who's in Shibuya? Yoshida? Oh, is it? Uh, who's who's Yoshida? <laughs> I forgot. Is that the? Uh... Oh, is that the politician? Oh, who's that? Oh, the fortune teller? What do I need for the fortune? I forgot what I, what's going on with the fortune teller. I should probably check. Do I have to give her money? <laughs> I do not have any money. Um, I'll have to pay some money to even get there. Uh, fortune persona, I guess? I haven't started that yet. Alright, I don't have to move it I'll just, I'll go and pay her a visit. I'll pay the 160. Alright, how's Mishima? Oh, right, the abusive boyfriend. Do that today. How are we doing with mementos? Hold on, give me a second. Um, where is that? Request. Okay, we have two requests in mementos. I don't remember this one at all. Obviously, this one is tied to the the fortune. Uh, <coughs> Boop. Confidant. Arcana. Um, Alright, what else can I do? I guess I can't do that yet. I can't go to Mementos tonight. Hmm. Um, okay, I guess I could work at the bar uh, to increase my hmm. charm and get a little money, or I could hang out with On. Um, 
Let's try working at the bar. Fuck it. Let's see if that's a thing. Make a little money. I don't have any money. I'm not going to the palace for a while. I might be going to Memento soon. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. I haven't worked here yet. This would be my first oh. time working. Hmm. Oh, this improves kindness. Okay, that, okay. Do you want to do some work? Fuck it. Yeah, Thank let's you. do it. I don't know if you have to answer questions. If you do, I have to look it up, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is going to take me a okay, second. Okay, then. Let me explain what you'll be doing. It might uh, be a little scary. Just try and relax. It's easy work. I'll need you to do some chores around the bar, washing dishes, clearing tables, to entertain the customers, so I can't do those things myself. Uh, and there you have it. Do you have any questions? Oh. Do I need to cross dress? There's alcohol here. Um. There's alcohol here. I don't think so. I'm thinking of narking. You're underage, right? So please don't touch any of the alcohol. No drinking it, of course, but that also means no serving it either. I'll do that. Do you have any questions? Do I need to cross dress? Oh, honey. Are you interested? I can be. He your producer? What? <laughs> we're breaking to, uh, the adult entertainment laws. I'm not. We're not gonna get into that. I mean, this is just one of me. So sometimes I can't pay attention to all the customers. Would you be on the lookout for those times? I'm sure they want to talk to you too. They're all great people, so don't worry. I'm sure it'll be a good experience. It's all you. Nice work. That wouldn't be the first time you cross-dressed in a Persona game. Okay, didn't do anything. Got a little money. Maybe raised kindness. See you. We get a lot more customers on Sundays. Oh, that happens to be today. Oh, today just happened to be a small crowd. Okay, that's a weird coincidence. I wonder if that... I would only see that little line if it was a Sunday. But today just happened to be a small crowd because today they wouldn't want to pay me extra on my first day. Anyways, just hinting that I'm going to need extra hands on Sundays. Okay, I'll try and remember that. I think I have some other stuff that I can do on Sundays, yep. though. I forget. It's hard to remember all this shit. And it doesn't put it in the calendar. Which I thought that would, that would be what it's for, you know? Mm. Help me catalog all my shit that I can do. Increased my One head fucking back. kindness. Fuck you. And fuck yeah. Oh shit. I'm getting pipped. Oh, it's Kasumi. Oh, thank you so much for earlier. I don't even remember. But you're so welcome. Alright, now I can give it 110 per. Oh, you practice already? Why don't you come? Why don't you come over and chill? <laughs> I think she's 14. I think I'm gonna stop now. I mean, we're 15 or 16. If I get onto the winner's podium, I won't slip up. Oh my god! I know she's always gonna be okay now. Yeah, she sure had us worried. <laughs> I'm gonna read all of Morgana dialogue like that, like a shitty voice actor. Yeah. Well, she's gonna give it her all in practice because of us. Fireworks fest, oh my god. Hey, Makoto, are you gonna wear it? Those dress things, you could, the Akadas are... I'm gonna wear mine. You've got one? How about you, Shlong? Um... I ain't, I, I ain't got that fancy shit. Y'all got money. Except you, Sky. I don't think you, Sky, has money. How does he have a Yakuta? Yo, sell that shit. You don't need that shit. You're a 16 year old boy. F 15, 14. 15 at the most. Actually, I don't know anything about the Japanese culture. Maybe he does. You guys better not be late. Okay. <laughs> it's the fireworks festival, I think. 
Come to think of it. Be careful, those things get insanely crowded. Thank you, Sak. Hey, hey! Um, Sakura? What's, what's his name? I can look it up, I know where to find it. I think it's Sakura. Maybe that's the last thing. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? It's Mishima. Saw some disturbing news online. The beginning was voice acted. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was ready to just hold on to that information myself. So I wanted to tell you at least that's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you when you're young. What could he mean by an insane group? Let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Let's just internalize this. Let's forget about it. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. on the train, the firework festival, transportation be congested, sudden weather changes imminent. Wait, the so all night. these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. And it's gonna rain tonight? Maybe in the evening? Oh, oh damn. it's so hot. Look at that guy. I feel sash, like I'm being baked. The golden sash. Those girls are way too late. <laughs> and the sandals. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. My dude, why aren't you two wearing one? Sash. I got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up. We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? No, bitch. That's right. I just Us wear this. Too. Wanna go together? Are we getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that Yukata. Do you happen to have any money? rounds of pain, so can we just go with these chicks? <laughs> All of these are basically no. Uh, let me think about it. <laughs> A chance like this never comes up. That's enough. Oh. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. <laughs> He's like, get out of here, slut. <laughs> How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, no, that, that, that's. Uh, he didn't even get a chance you know, to talk to. This guy's really. such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess, but he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. Wait, like what the fuck? Hold on. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. What the fuck? How could you? I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? This game sucks, dude. Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. I made it a big deal in the last game, but I wanted to cut down on that shit. Like, oh, you're so... with all the female characters. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so
Ja. Everyone had the same idea. What's up? Mm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. Oh, Christ. I wish we could just Beaver, have a cat car cold. on demand. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. It's such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? Or like Batman? What are you fucking saying? That's how it should be. I guess. So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud b- and again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than no. Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. That was a weird little cutscene. So you won't oh. tell me, no matter what. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to? Oh. Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Yes, Daddy. Oh. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. It's just encrypted. Huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate right evils. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. A stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Can't you even take part in small talk? You should have more interest in what's going on with the Suck world. Suck a dick. We small talk. Well, we small it's talk. It's about time we I go. Small talk. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Oh, we do? Yo, my bad. Yo, I surrender. Yo, Anon. <laughs> Do 
reduce our cost of living. Anon. Justice is relative. But why? Did the Phantom Thieves do something? Medjet is really scary. I call bullshit. Yeah, fuck the Mafia. <laughs> yes, Anon. Fuck the Mafia. Phantom Thieves group chat. Don't talk about Medjet. I mean, those guys, those guys, people online are going nuts over? Medjet. The name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news, too. For some reason, they think we speak of false just in the... They want to speak regarding the Medjet? Why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. <laughs> Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjet is an organized group of such people like use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Okay. Medjet is an organized group of such people organized and recognized by a larger international community so they operate on a global scale? That means they, they could be Kanashiro. Right! Oh, then it's settled. Our next target's gonna be Medjet. I wonder if the nav will get a hit and put Medjet in. Oh, right. Oh, I <laughs> didn't mean to type that. Something came over me. Uh, it has to be a pseudonym. I don't know how many people Medjet is. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't we get at least the member's info if we try to look into it? Even if we did. Discover the location. Confirm the presence of Medjet has been online. It's a greater problem than simply finding the keywords unless you have a, any more ideas, Ryuji. Hello? He had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's, a, he's an annoying little shit. <laughs> People are all excited about it. Our reputation's gonna plummet if we don't face this shit. Let's go after a catchy. Fuck a catchy. In that case, perhaps we remain silent. People who believe that shit is taunted publicly after all. Oop, Makoto's into it. That means that means we're gonna do it, I guess. Uh, if they are crippled, we cannot just let them be. Yeah, we don't have any other targets right now either. Let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. Um, is Mishima part of Medjet? Uh, I think either way I'm talking to him. I should have should have said no to get some more voice to get some more lines out of him. A world class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Oh, can I go out? Oh, what is this? Oh, is this just a photo? Oh, in in that Yakata. I'm a natural candy photographer. This candy photographer stuff. I hope for your sake that it was intended to be candid. It's a shame about the rain. I'm a chef. I miss the fire. something downstairs no way you let me leave here, right? hey oh what do you want to do can I spend all of my money from work and hang out with my teacher on hey. Monday what do you want to do Let's see what we got cooking upstairs. Let's see what we got cooking upstairs. Like on a DVD or there's some shit. Oh, what about this plant? This plant's probably nice. fine, yeah. Nope. Uh, Christ. Oh. What I was fucking talking about. Uh, DVD? Haven't even started that one. It's for kindness. Oh. Video game? Oh, I've almost finished this. 
Guts for Guts. All right, let's do it. Yo, I'm gonna save though let's in do case it. I fuck it up because I know you can fuck it up. I think this is just gonna be the next day. I'm gonna just a save file on the next day. But oh. Last time it caught me out of nowhere. I was like, like you have to do 50 X's in like okay. 10 seconds, and somehow I did it. Like you have to press X 50 times oh. in 10 seconds. Hey, wait! <laughs> the retro music is very faithful. It's very nice. It's very faithful. Oh. Shit! I had one second. What I'm talking about. <laughs> Is that really the end though? Oh. The screen went all dark. Sorry, can't talk. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> By how much? Give me three. Oh, uh, two. Okay. Does that increase my guts? I want to talk to you. I. Yes, I can finally start EY's companion, I think. Or con confidant. Jesus. All right. I think. Or maybe I can start oh. the doctor. Maybe I can't start EY's yet. I look, I'm going to check. I'm going to check both. I'm going to check EY first, though. <laughs> the shooting. God. Yeah. What the fuck is that? That was it. I was going to say for the shooting range, but there isn't a shooting range. <laughs> Baseball <laughs> hitting. What? Rain. Tell me. Mentioned. What the fuck was that? That little voice line. I can't play again. Yeah, tell me. I'm talking about Medjet. Yeah, I guess I should actually read this. Jet is like digital Robin Hoods. They're like good guys. Snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Magic, those guys claim to be modern day Robin Hoods? <laughs> the Phantom. I don't, I don't even know what that said. Yo, Anon, Thieves go. Thieves got famous. They're both shit. <laughs> Thanks, Anon. Oh, this is the, f the grades for the, the midterms. I looked up all the answers. I'm pretty sure I was I was fine. I'm in the top ten. Whoa. What is that? Charm. Yo, sick. Everyone thinks I'm so smart. Charming. We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. Fair it's not my fault my scores suck, right? I looked up all the answers on the internet. No, yeah, no, you're right. Right? Right? Anyways, <laughs> there's something more important here. Mishima. Wait, right. right, I want to hear that again. Right? Right? You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. Hmm. <laughs> You want to ask me something about the internet, right? You want to ask me something about the internet, right? You heard of the internet? <laughs> I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they hackers only look out for their justice. own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude, don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. I wonder if anyone else got any info. <laughs> no, 
No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Not Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. This Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. Oh, uh, all right. Well, then it's fine. How are we gonna find Benjen? Terrorism they still managed to elude the rest. I'm kinda sure it was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. We bite off more than we can chew. Right, there's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't know whether they're a single individual or a large conglomerate. Stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Is that a recording of her? Clues on Medjet, huh? Huh? Yeah, where are we talking? Does she have mm. Does she have our group chat bugged? Did she see our group chat? I know she's got the cafe bug. Can she see the group chat though? I forget the deal with Medjet. I know that obviously Futaba's involved in some way. I mean, like, she's the founder of it. Uh, other than that, I forget. Looking into Yamauchi, I think that's the guy in his confidant, like the little, uh, the Kanashiro's, like, second in command, like the little gym teacher guy, he's a little shithead. Apparently, he's been hanging out in, uh, in something to shop a lot. He's a real drunk there and brags with his co-workers, so perfect opportunity, right? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him, but oh, that's interesting. Did he notice you? Right, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him, but uh, he wouldn't care about you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you want. That's a fucking hell of a request, dog. I'm so in. Yep. We won't be able to hang out with Ryuji for a while. Okay. Well, I can hang out with On. That'll probably rank up now. But I do need a lover's persona if I decide I'm going to, if I, if I'm going to go that way. I don't know if I... I would rather hang out with Makoto. been troubled though. <laughs> Do you think we would meet? I'd like to tell you about it. I have the right arcana. My bond with Makoto will grow stronger soon. Um, I gotta trade I gotta go get another video game. But I, this is looking like what's gonna this is looking like what we're gonna do. Use her in battle a lot, yeah. Uh, decide later. Decide later. We are gonna go ahead. And... Oh, geez, I'm available. Who's this? It's on. That is Takemi? Um, oh, that's the doctor. I'm just checking who else is available. I think that's it. 
so I'm returning DVDs, I'm returning, uh, where is that, is that the Central Street, not DVDs, I'm returning video games. Maybe I can't buy games yet. Maybe that's after Futaba's Palace. Or like during? I forget. Okay, well, I, I guess I hang out with Makota. Grocery store is super. Answers. Ha ha. You get a certain amount of points if you say the right thing in response. And I'd like to maximize the points. Because it makes combat easier, kind of. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Dee 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 do. This is rank four. That's unlike you. I couldn't agree more. Actually, lower grades than normal. Recently, I've started questioning the entire point of my education. What, what, what do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well, but is it the, is it the girl we met in the red light district, whatever it's called? The answer hasn't become any clearer. I go. Hmm? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shinjuku. It's the red light district. Anyway, we've been calling each other every so often. That's cute. <laughs> Since we exchanged contact information. A random girl that she met on the street. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close, is that what she said? When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university. I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Iko, her grades were not the best, but she claimed she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can use their con connections to find her a job. <sighs> but isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can re rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I shouldn't, I can't read everything. I just can't. <laughs> I gotta stop. No, this doesn't matter. Hmm. She was gonna major in law just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But... But... <laughs> say, come on, say the rest. I don't want to have to do it. She doesn't want to go to college because of the Phantom Thieves? I realize now there's more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, and now I know better. Growing up a little bit. <laughs> oh, stop that. Stop that. Don't do that. That was gross. Like a 30-something-year-old woman. 
coming. <laughs> what did she say? She must have known I was talking about her. society and work tirelessly to bring it to justice oh fuck her dad was batman but despite the rough exterior he was extremely gentle deep down oh that fuck her dad was batman me. robin when i was little i told him i wanted to grow up to be a police officer just like him i was he was glad to hear me say that but he was quick to point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous i Thank you very much. That was a fantastic one. Now she can follow up. All right. Chance to perform a follow up attack. If the Joker's attack does not down the enemy, okay. Oh, then her attack, hey. her follow up attack would down them, I guess. Or maybe it's just a follow up attack. Okay, either way, good. Free damage. I'll see you later. <laughs> You're welcome. She just makes me so nervous. Ah, you're back. Summer break soon. Must be nice being a student. Medjet is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, huh? It name apparently means the, the Smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure that Medjet is a real name. And on top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. His form is unattainable, an unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicts gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. That's fucking creepy sounding. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Well done. Yeah, there's nothing to be impressed about. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. <laughs> so, we still don't have any tangible clues. Hey! Besides all that shit. <sighs> oh, that means I can start EY's confidant. What else can I do? Oh my god, I can do a lot of other stuff. I really want to do a catchy's thing. Um, is he the Justice Arcana, and do I have a Justice Persona? As much as I want to start EY, 
I know I have to get up to a certain um, confidant rank with a catchy. Uh, the reporter stuff is kind of useless unless I have to do her confidant. I don't think I'm going to do her. Um, <laughs> um, and I, am, I do intend to finish this confidant, unfortunately. I do intend to finish it because the rewards are too good. Um, but I think tonight we're hanging out with young Akechi Kun. What are you doing right now? I finally found some free time. I'm in Kichi Joji right now. If you feel inclined, we could meet up and chat for a while. We're gonna meet up to see Akechi? Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Uh, usually it lets you check whether or not the thing would rank up. I guess it's just gonna rank up. Did I spend money? Usually I have to spend money to get here. Did I spend money? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. I got a free ride. Hello, Ketchy Koo. Hi. Hey. I don't know if you're younger than me or not. But you're also evil. I feel like I can become closer with the Ketchy with the Angel. I don't think my bond with the Ketchy will deepen just yet. What do you want to do? Yikes. Do I want to do it though anyway? Hmm. That's really good. That's a really good ability. That's a really good ability. Holy Christ. <sighs> my, my only other tangible option here is to finish the fortune teller's shit and then spend some money to increase this just artificially without wasting time and just wasting money. Um, but I have to go to Mementos. I don't know. I think plot stuff is about to start, so I don't think I'm gonna have that opportunity. But fuck, would I just rather hang out with the the teacher? Uh, I think I think, I think I think I'm just gonna do. It. I think I'm just gonna hang out. Thank you. I hate wasting a night like this. But I don't have the fortune teller yet. I should I should probably do that. I should probably go to Mementos. I have two targets in Mementos. That's good enough. I need some money also. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnet. I'm not listening to this at all. Let's just get this over with, Igor. Yo, where are the police? <laughs> like the it's really summer now. Yo, I get sweaty I just, just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjad would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things yeah, keep happening this you, year. The influence of the you? Phantom Thieves knows you? no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public you. thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? What are you saying? Oh, entertained. Entertained, huh? A yes. luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this no, is what the not. public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Um, 
Yes. What was your name? Young man. I don't get it. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Edge Edge Showdown. What you think will come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. You ask me, Edge Edge causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. buzzing earlier. Got a lot of messages from an unknown. Nice to meet you. I'm an online. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Was one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? If I give you information on them, oh, I can give you information on them if you change the heart. If the change of heart is successful, if you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts. I just as oh, I can't read it. Just as I have with yours, but this is all I can prove at the moment. I've the necessary tools on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? <laughs> I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. So that guy said he was Alibaba. Uh, that guy is uh, I don't know, like my cousin. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? Okay, well, he may have Tabo traced our chat box. The cafe. How careless of us. But how would he have and known all these details? You, guess just like that. Seeing our text messages. You think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? How did you have BJ on her neck? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Hate that. Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Oh, then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, yeah. is this person measured? I doubt yeah. it. Considering oh, no. he says he wants to deal with them, that is. But yeah. Only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. 
He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act what, at like once. Overnight? Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Oh, we staying over my house? We're gonna have a slumber party? with a big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm is that a new face i see it's nice to meet you my name is makoto nijima i hope we're not being a bother she's our student council president Psst. nijima is something wrong no, it's not your sister was student council president. Eh? Me yesterday. I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but Sakura, everyone just calls me right. boss. Sojiro Sakura. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late-breaking news on Medjet, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjet also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjet as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! <laughs> Keep listening. I want people to worship me. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying Nothing. that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? We don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. Yeah, that's true. Is this a... Is this an illegal letter? A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. The internet? Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. Yo, somebody drew, so somebody dropped that in the mailbox? Oh, did, did the controller just vibrate? <laughs> Had it on my table. Um, so turning up the heat on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Phantom Thieves and the Actions have been great. Everyone is really engaged. Most of the comments are pro Phantom Thieves, most likely because of what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say that Medjet are hacker just hackers of justice or something. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. He can look forward to whatever he wants. 
We have exactly. no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Can make coffee. Ugh. Excuse me, Jesus. Um, I don't care for any of those things. What about books? Should be knowledgeable of internet crimes. Yo, fuck it. Game secrets? It's a compilation of tricks for making video games easy. Oh, and never mind. We're gonna do this. Never mind. <laughs> that was stupid. This was stupid. <laughs> I could have done better things than this. Wow. button presses in like 15 seconds. It's crazy. I'm not even a fan of they've said anything. Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do. <laughs> they're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish that the world would just go away for a minute, please. Akechi? Oh, Kasumi. Good morning. Senpai? Oh, say it. Come on, say it, say it. Mm. Got nothing. I see. Then maybe we'll have a chance to practice. Then just let me know whenever you're available. She said, she said the word again. I hate it when she says that word. The S word. Just for you, G. Nothing. Let us know. What's that about? Ryuji again? He just. Oh, this one ain't Ryuji. Good day. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Yo, fuck it. Fuck it. That's right. I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling so card. So it really was from this guy. Are you in school right now? Who are you again? I'll answer that question as many times as necessary. I am Alibaba. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. truly impossible without such information? It is. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. Well, very well, I'll tell you. Ta 
Abasaka. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? <laughs> Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? Fair I mean, enough. You are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. Wait, say that shit to me again? Say all of that to me again? I need, I need a little reminder. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. Okay, However, so since he's ordering us through the chat, a, a I do feel as though he's soccer. taunting us. You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless. I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do once. at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll Don't check ask. the school's Don't roster just him. in at case. At least twice, or if he refuses. We must make sure boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll what? have to go about this cautiously. What do you mean, who we are? Oh, like the, 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 the fan. What's up? Should I go? I want to meet Futaba. Oh, I, I want to go. I want to do it. Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. Probably would I'm going home. Either way. Make sure you lock like up the, the place. Way. Oh, he's going home? Is that what you just said? Oh. Ran away. Looks like it's a hit. Text from Sakura saying, Get out. You're out right now. Were you able to ask boss about Futaba? He did not want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Alibaba might be our only way to. Uh, our only hope of defeating Medjid. I wish we could get some more info about Futaba out of boss. Trying to force it out. We probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to Boss and Sherlock. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. Uh, it's probably best that we need to wait and bring that stuff up to Boss. Or probably a good idea. Not trying to get kicked out of the It's a good setup. It's a really good setup. And I leave. No. Not a chance. Uh, okay. okay, we're gonna watch the DVD. We're gonna watch the fucking kindness DVD or whatever. Screw it. Bull! This 
man is oh, a convicted it's criminal. I see you. It's doctors, <laughs> and surgery, and kindness. Somehow, squeeze a little kindness out of there. Oh, the percentage is going down. Yo. Yo. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take Yo. care of this lame shit, you can kiss Everyone's your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Starts or something. I, don't, I wasn't listening to this with this conversation at all. Oh, Futaba lives nearby. If she's related to, if he, yeah, if she's related to Sojuro. is there? Up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. This place is close to Leblanc, so we might be. Hey there, hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakurusan's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oh, that'll that'll be that'll turn out fine. Oh, hello. <sighs> it's the cops. You read the letter, did you not? 
So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped Wakaba. off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Damn, she's like evil Makoto. Kinda hot. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? Yeah, you look really handsome. This doesn't involve you. That's enough! Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. That's exactly the threat that I was waiting on. That'll well, shut that me basically up. confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. How'd it go? You found anything out about Futaba? Confirm. We confirm that she exists, that she's involved with Sojiro, that he has some sort of custody over her. Uh, I also learned about Wakaba. I learned her name. Mm. And I learned that the cops are interested in Wakaba. Oh, I almost fell out of my chair. Also learn that the cops are interested in Wakaba because of the sci science. Rooms. Can I still look? Hide in both oh, the script. Oh, okay. Let's take, let's take. You to finish that DVD. Can I? Oh. No games. That's oh. wonderful. Um, I think it's either this or study, so let's do this. Fuck it. And next time I'll study. If you try to save both the mother and the baby, you'll lose them both. Or I could save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. <laughs> yes. Whatever he just said, yes. The percentage is on the steady decline. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Ooh, ouch. Oh. And ouch. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't Attention. know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I don't know. It's difficult to say. Sometimes the person on the outside is much different from the one within. Hmm. Get pipped? Is it Alibaba? No, it's just... It's an ad. Oh, no, it's Alibaba. You're right. 
given you a calling card and told you the target's name, you should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Start with the palace. Palace? What are you talking about, pal? The palace is for? That's nothing to do with this conversation. Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? And what are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet? Me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly, that might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment, I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking for Tama Sakura. Forget this ever happened, we'll report you to the police either, don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. <laughs> Shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Sonny. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Yeah, oh yeah! Totally Remember fine. Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind so, of money! So what is that? What's that like? Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. I'm gonna, I'm gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! 30,000? Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Then it's decided. All right. That kind of hero's piggy bank behind our shoulder. Wonderful that Medjid business was a prank. I'm gonna think about it calmly. It's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. They didn't know where I lived. I target fan thieves. They should want to be acting now, given our fame. They're like, fuck it, they knew who we were. Why are you not? It's, they should freak out. They should, they should be like a, a freak out moment.
want to do it? Yeah, I want to do it. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Yes! Oh, only regular protein? Fuck. Fuck it. Now, let's carry out our plan. Let's carry out the plan. Okay. You seem quite busy, sai -san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions asshole. for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? Uh, uh. What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this so to the police? The thieves being behind the psychotic I'd breakdowns? never tell them such. Yo, what you trying to say, Ketchy? The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means so necessary to win. That's how I would deal is, with them. Is either Wakaba or is related to Wakaba. <laughs> Very well. I'm, I'm remembering. This seems to be fun now. for you. I'm remembering Are you on details, to something? I'll, I'll keep quiet. No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Cheers, the champagne. Ha <laughs> I'm the Joker, you see. Okay. Fuck. Time for sushi. This is in Ginza. New place. Ginza. All right. All right. I hope you're having a pleasant Valentine's Day, Xander Mobus. Hope you're having a fantastic day. You're really not a very good voice actor. But I hope you're having a great day. Yeah. Stop voice acting, though. The flounder is out of this world. Stop voice acting. Mm. Have a great texture. day. I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Oh, I'm not seeing any of that money. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What my kind of person is he? just a shit talker. Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Oh, because of your record. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. 
So drunk. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Have we looked up Futaba's name? Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It... Crap! Uh, um, th th fan fantastic This sushi is delicious! Y yeah The fish is so fresh! <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these Phantom Thieves. What rubbish? About where we are, Ryuji. All right, that sushi chef Sorry, totally just knows where kind of slipped. Leaves. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Yeah, he should go to the newspapers. That fucking guy. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? A catchy goon. Um, a catchy. A catchy. The one from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Wait, what do the fuck do you guy? mean, the one from the TV station? I've hung out with you like six times. It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. Oh, shit. How do you know my name? Last name. Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're well, of a course former I pupil kidding. of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Oh. Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die English again! Wait, what? What's it say? I stopped talking. Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? Yeah, why don't you go back to the fucking My police apologies. Department, I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. I'm glad that people Regarding actually this come whole to that commotion. because that's it's pretty fucking obvious. Like, that we're all related to the Phantom Thieves in one way or another. I mean, I guess if you're paying attention, An is not, like, directly related to Kanashiro, I guess. Besides being friends with, uh... Whatever her name is, the girl who jumped off the roof. Um. If you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Regarding this whole Medjed commotion, if the, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do with Medjed? I would kill them. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> you can say this? I kind of want to say this. M me? You're siding with him? <laughs> I wasn't anticipating that response. 
You will always find a way to rise above my expectations. Oh, of course. You really are an intriguing one. Oh, you're I so lack your calm mannerisms. You but don't you think my deduction is an interesting bullshit. one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? What? The hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? He obviously fucking nah, has. It couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. You we shouldn't called forget us out. that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are Unseen, Yo, we will like eliminate Batman. evil. Yeah, like That's what it says. <laughs> Sounds bad. Reveal your identity. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? It seems they are quite the attention it's seekers. Like what, Batman? what are we gonna do about this? Health only pleasure. we could get in contact with Alibaba. Right. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, yeah, he's got a bug in the cafe, if we though. managed to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are Can you? Can you put in her name to confirm that she has one? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's yeah, asking that we steal her man. own heart? Maybe she wants us to save Protect her from the scars man. of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Fuck it. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We're we'll tell say to his takeout give, give sushi some, is a gift, your, perhaps. Where's your money? But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she Where's were here too. Sojuro? Oh, the gate is unlocked. Don't the window. kick open in other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. 
Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. We should? Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. We could very easily get back to the lawn. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, the boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. <laughs> Scream? What was that? How should I know? Is that on? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Why are you saying that? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? He's home! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead for sure. Who the hell are you? Don't Guns. move! Did you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Somebody please save me! You? What are you doing in my house? That's a great question. Uh, You're... I was trying. I was just trying oh, to get a little action. Good, good evening, sir. We that we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Where are you Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This um uh things happened and. Where do shoes go though? For sure. Like, you kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. <laughs> huh? You wanna... It's funny. It's funny to think that, like, Futaba's going through all this trouble to hack us, to, like, look at our messages, and she bugged the cafe to listen to our conversations, and she knows all this shit about us being the Phantom Thieves, and she's doing all the surveillance on us, and, like, the fuck, the only barrier between her and us is this fucking door that Sojuro just left open. <laughs> or that he just leaves open. Ask me. Sometimes. There's someone She's really else not thinking this out here. very th thoroughly. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so... We'd like to apologize, if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. MB. 
Maybe. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. This is Wakaba. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. And they knew each other from before? But one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. Oh, oh hands out of the pockets. Yes. She committed suicide. Oh, yikes. Suicide? Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Ooh. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... She wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside oh, the she house. she really was a recluse. I forgot all about that. Or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. Back in the she just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. I don't, I don't see the correlation. Oh, 
Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Ryuji, the voice of reason. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? How come nobody put in her name? She's got one. So someone so can have a palace good. even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Oh, she's suffocating. Uh, where's Morgana? Or he. I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, up, it is our FM fault. Have a meeting to not say anyway, stuff let's contact each other afterward. Oh. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Where'd she come from? Or where did he come from? Where did Morgana go? Just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take I it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. She's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair, too. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone it's know. A bug downstairs. Mm. And also, the chat's bugged. You just said that. I guess the meet up tomorrow is ambiguous enough. We're going to the future anyway. Going to the future. Futaba Sakura? She had hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Exactly. Then how was Medjid? <sighs> what you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe coherent? you. Coherent? I was just a confidant. Oh, yeah. Whatever, dog. All right. 
like whatever. <gasps> what a coincidence. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Oh, the number. The number's okay. It's hovering around. It's hovering around. Seriously? They're holding an emergency meeting. It's because of the Phantom Thieves. Don't do anything that'll hurt the school's reputation. I can't. Stay quiet. They can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. Let's uh, not worship the Phantom Thieves. Big, uh, biggest. Th wait, there's talk that this could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. Still hovering. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Yeah, I just wanted to see you. Well, then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us? We may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Yeah, so it could Maybe we, like, that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. Like, mental illness? According to the chief story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, personas? right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. <sighs> Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Let's ask the others. Are you afraid? Now is no oh, time to be indecisive. <laughs> we gotta do this. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Oh, that's a shame. Are you a pussy well, now? Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, oh, huh? boy. <laughs> the ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Yo, let's bug her back. Let us try going to their house first. Let's put, a, let's put some shit Boss in Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? Food? We should make it's sure he doesn't poisoner. suspect anything. <laughs> Important memories, is that how this huh? works? I forgot. I'll it's be able there. to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Oh, is this the confidant? Is this the next rank of the confidant? You sure you're human? That's not important! I'm talking about my memories here! I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back, too. In any case, 
It's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Yeah, you know, she lives down the street from me. It's not like... It's not like the biggest deal. You sure live up to my expectations. Keyword. She's a shut in. So we just gotta figure out what, what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? <laughs> One word. No space. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Hmm. Maybe an oasis? Not Nothing so far. A prison. In that case, how about hell? Conditions have not been met. Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can't. Come on, let's go see Futaba. Let's throw rocks at her window. What will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. Oh, him meaning me? I'm, I haven't even paid it. I haven't been paying attention at all. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Yo, listen up, homie. <laughs> Futaba chan We're not going are anywhere. You there? You're not I'm going anywhere. I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Alright, confirmation, then it's the same person, I guess. Why is she only reacting to that name? But, like... You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason Ooh, why we came here outright. is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we not want to talk around. with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Uh. Alright then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. But unfortunately, it has to be FaceTime. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What do you want to hear? Looks like you should ask something different. Looks like you should ask... Oh. What? Die? Is this going to continue? Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! We got to it. Say to somebody. Is that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You 
idiot! Don't activate it here! Oh, that brings Futaba in too, right? Or should. Bring her into her own palace? It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But what more importantly, you? You I told like you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. No Even though we rules. entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. The tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make oh, our Medjid way there. wasn't an Egyptian. Isn't man, that kind right? of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. But not my tires. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> Let's roll. In there? Am I pissing inside of you? <laughs> Real sorry. Is that us being hot or are we dead? Or asleep? It's stuffy. Roll the windows. Yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <laughs> How are the guys? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Christ. Every game, every fucking Persona game has some pervy bullshit. So quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. Maybe the desert air would have been that? nice. You want to fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, oh, shit, a that pyramid is tomb, right? <laughs> yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Oh, the golden hey guys, ratio. Of can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. It's gotta be cooler underground, right? Oh, man. I should write something. Yo, I'm sorry, but I think that's where we're gonna end it. Um, I'm planning on do this, doing this again soon. Um, this is where the actual shit gets started with this palace, anyway. So I figure it's better to stop now. I'm tired as shit. Um, <laughs> I should write something. Um, all right. Well, um, perhaps I'll be back tomorrow to play this. I'm not exactly sure. 
but regardless of that, on Wednesday, me and Josh should be back doing the Pokemon Inclement Emerald Soul Link Nuzlocke. Um, who the fuck knows what's gonna happen with that shit? <laughs> if you've been paying, if you've been paying attention, we've been getting our ass kicked. Um, all right, peace out.